In this video, I'm going to teach you how to read a log graph. So let's start by looking at how this scale works, which is the key to understanding how to read a log graph. And the first things to notice about this scale is it's not going up in equal amounts. It's in fact going up in powers of 10 and that the divisions are not equally spaced. If you look at where the 0 0.1 is to the next division, it's really spread out. But if you look where the one is, just before it, the divisions are really close together. So something strange is happening there, and I'll show you how you can deal with that. Let's look at the basic idea, which is that it goes up in powers of 10. So at the start, we've got 10 to the power minus 1, which is 0 0.1. Then it's going 10 to the power 0, which is 1. Then 10 to the power 1, which is 10. 10 to the power 2, which is 100. Then it would, of course, go 10 to the power 3, which is 1,000. 10 to the power 4 is 10,000. So it's going up in powers of 10. We can then look at how the scale works. So unsurprisingly, we've got 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 coming next. This is 0 0.2. The way we work that out is it will be 2 times 10 to the power minus 1. Then the next division is 0 0.3, which is 3 times 10 to the minus 1. And then you've got 0 0.4 coming next. And that's also worked out in the same way. Then when we get to 1, we've got the numbers that come after that following this pattern. So that's going to be 2. 2 times 10 to the power 0 is, of course, 2. 3 is worked out in the same way. 4 worked out in the same way. Simple progression there. And of course, it goes 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then you get to 10. After 10, we might think, for example, where would 60 be? So we've got 10 here. That's going to be 20. 30 is going to be here. 40, 50. And so 60 is going to land here. And that would be in the same logic as the previous ones. 6 times 10 to the power 1, because there's the times 10 to the power 1 coming from there. A fact that's worth knowing is you can't plot 0 on a log graph. It just won't work. And the other thing to watch out for, which is the common mistake, is thinking, for example, here is 1. So going 0 and then 1. That is, of course, wrong. It goes 1, then 2, then 3. Just like it's not 0 here and then 10, 20, it starts 10, and then this first division is 20. It's very easy to make that mistake. And then everything becomes slightly out. Let's look at the next idea, which is before you start reading it, take a look and work out if it's a semi-log graph or a log-log graph. So you've got semi-log plots and log-log plots. In a semi-log plot, what you have is one axis has got a log scale and one axis does not have a log scale. So the not a log scale one, you can just read very simply like you would read any graph and the log scale you have to pay attention to. In a log-log plot, you've got to watch out for the fact that both axes are logarithmic, and you have to be careful about reading those. And so you've got a log scale and a log scale in the log-log plot, which is why we call it a log-log plot. The next thing we're going to do is look at an example of how we could actually read one of these log-log plots. And I've marked two points on here, and I've deliberately chosen very simple points that are perfectly lined up with the divisions. If they're not perfectly lined up, it's more complicated to take a reading. And I'm going to show you how you can deal with that in a second. So if we want to read this point, we draw, of course, a line down. One is here. Two is therefore going to be there. Watch out for the fact that this is a one and not a zero, which means this has to be two. The green line, it says here, is based on um, x squared. So we've got two squared is four. So we're expecting a result of four. We draw a line across here. There is one, that's two, three, and that's four. So unsurprisingly, that's four. And so this is a point two, four. We could read this point in the same way. So we draw a line straight down. We've got 10, then 20, then 30. So that's going to be 30. We have got the line y equals x. So if this is 30, we expect the other side to be 30. So we draw a line across. There's 10, there's 20, there's 30. And so that's the point 30, 30. So we've read this simple log graph. But what if we had more awkward numbers? Let's imagine we had to deal with 2.4. Well, that's not going to be very simple because remember I said earlier that the divisions are not equally spaced. So here you've got a long way and then between here and here, it's getting closer together. So what you don't want to do is just go, well, this is going to be two and I'll go 40% along the way, and that will be 2.4. It's not how it works. It is a bit more complicated than that. And unfortunately, it's a little bit annoying to deal with. So I'm going to introduce this formula. It'll look quite complicated, but once you see it in action, it's not that bad. So the proportion 
is going to be equal to the log of the number you're interested in minus the log of what comes before and that's the ones marked on the graph the powers of 10. so if we're looking at 2.4 we're looking in this section here so 10 to the power of 0 is 1 that's what comes before and then 10 to the power of 1 is what comes after and then we're finding the difference on the bottom there so let's look at it in practice so we're starting with the log of the number we're interested in so log 2.4 subtract the log before so we're looking at this 10 to the power of zero which is one so subtract log of one then the bit at the end of the section we're interested in is 10 to the power of one so that's log of 10 subtract the log before that's going to be log one and we get this thing that the proportions coming out roughly as 0 0.38 so that means if we start here and we define this distance to be one we need to go 38% of the way. So we have to go 0 0.38 of this total. And so you would measure out that fraction and that would be the point that corresponds to 2.4. Let's look at another example to see that again. So what about 624? And feel free to calculate this yourself and then check against my answer. So we use the same formula. So we're doing exactly the same thing, but we're interested in 624. 624 is obviously between 100 and 1,000. So 10 to the power of 2 is where our 100 is. 10 to the power of 3 is where our 1,000 is. So we do the log of the number we're interested in, 624. Before, we're looking at this 100. So we're subtracting log of 100. Then we're dividing it by log of 1,000, which is our after. Subtracting our before, which is log of 100. Put that into a calculator and you get 0 0.795. We define this distance as 1, so you need to go 0 0.795 of that distance, so just less than 80% of the way, and mark that point, and that was where you would get 624, and you could read from there. So I hope this video was helpful to you and has cleared up how you can deal with reading these annoying log graphs. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.